Hello and welcome to DFS Coach Talks look at the Masters for DFS and prize picks. I am Joe Sarvati, officially known as Coach, and I am very excited to discuss the Masters with you for this week. We feel we have some strong edge in uh, what we're going after and how we're going to uh, create our rosters. So we're going to do a quick look at a couple of things here. Uh, one key factor that I think is going to make a big difference is the tee times, whether you're on the good side or the bad side. There is some weather uh, that are, is going to be an issue this weekend uh, at the Masters. It looks as though we have a pretty strong uh, advantage for those that are going out uh, late on um, Thursday and early Friday. So that group of tee times uh, should have a pretty distinct advantage, um, mainly because Friday this, the winds are supposed to get up to around 25 miles an hour in the afternoon, and they shouldn't be uh, very bad in the morning. So I think um, it won't be as much of a difference uh, on Thursday, but certainly Friday uh, I expect it to be a, a big swing in people trying to make the cut here. So uh, we're going to talk about and roster some guys that are specifically uh, really coming out on the better side of that draw and being able to play Thursday afternoon and Friday morning. So that's the biggest piece of information uh, I think that we need to share on the front side. Secondly, we'll, we'll take a look at the odds here and see what Vegas thinks. And we'll do this in uh, some groups and then we'll break down a little bit of, of what we're looking at um, in each price range, because I think that's very key uh, when you're building. And then we'll finish up with some of our picks uh, across the board here. So uh, let's go right straight to the Vegas lines. Um, and they are brought to you by uh, our presenting sponsor, sponsor here. That's betus.com.pa. If you've not uh, had a BetUS account, give it a shot. They're terrific. I've been with them for 16 years, uh, betus.com.pa. If you go there, open an account, and deposit uh, a minimum of 149, you get a free membership with us here at Coach Talk for two months. That's $150 value there. So if you're looking to bet on baseball that starts tomorrow, you're looking to bet on the Masters, betus.com.pa. You have to use the promo code Coach Talk, all one word, no space, and you get two free months of Coach Talk uh, with that. So if you sign up, jump on Twitter at uh, DFS Coach Talk. Let us know that you've signed up for our BetUS offer, and we will get you right in to our Discord. And we have all kinds of great action this week. All right, the favorite to win the Masters, according to Bet US is John Rahm at 11 to 1. Um, I am not, I'm total, totally fading John Rahm. I know he's awesome. He's extra motivated because he's dropped to the number two player in the world below Scotty Scheffler. But Rahm's uh, game around the green is just horrible. His chipping and putting has just absolutely gotten to almost the yip kind of level here. So uh, certainly he can put it together. Uh, I think he's probably the best player uh, in the world if, you know, once he works this issue out. But right now, it's just, it's just not there. So Rom is a complete fade for me. I don't think he's, especially if there's some wind, you're going to miss a lot of greens in regulation. And right now, he is one of the worst guys as far as scrambling uh, to get the ball up and down from around the green or on the green. Uh, Justin Thomas is 12 to 1, second choice. I think he's a legit play. I think he'll be sort of chalky. A lot of people are going to go to JT because he checks all the boxes. You know, he's due here. He, his game fits it. There's just a lot of good things about JT that you can back here. And I think he deserves to be 12 to 1, uh, one of the favorites. Dustin Johnson at 18 and Cameron Smith at 18. Um, and Scotty Scheffler and Brooks Kepka, all four guys at 18-1. to one. DJ Dangerous, we know that when he puts, uh, you know, puts it together, he's one of the best out there. But it's, you know, he's such a hit or miss guy. I mean, he can 
miss the cut or he could win the tournament. I mean, that's just DJ in a nutshell. And we've said that, you know, prior to, uh, you know, on these pods in the past, and he's done both missed cuts and won tournament. So he, he always backs that up. Um, you know, not a bad play though. His price isn't overwhelming. Usually it's, you know, the highest price guy in the, in the tournament. So I can see uh, going there. Cam Smith, I'm not sure. You know, Cameron Smith had that huge win at the players. A lot of momentum. Makes sense. I just don't know if if this fits his game properly. I'm probably not going Cam. I think he's just maybe a, a little let down from the players. Not, uh, I don't think, in the perfect spot here. Scotty Scheffler, it's going to be interesting. I, You know, from the very beginning when he got on tour, I've been a big Scheffler guy. I can't believe he's number one in the world already, but um, I don't know. There's a lot of pressure. He's number one coming in. He did play well here last year. He's He's got the game for it. The question is, you know, can he really get over the top and, and get it done? That's going to be the big issue here. I think he might still be another year or two away. Uh, from this, but who's to say? I mean, he's certainly been playing fantastic golf, and uh, you know, I think you can get him at, at decent ownership too. Brooks Kepka, always dangerous. You know, he's he's been pretty inconsistent since his injury, like a year and a half ago. Up and down, uh, in contention at times, seems to unravel a bit at times as well. So a little risky but uh, certainly can be considered. A next level of, of is 20 to one, Rory McIlroy. Uh, you know, I played Rory last week at the Valspar. I thought he would get it done and he did not. He didn't even make the cut, um, was a little shaky around the greens, which is abnormal for him. He certainly has a perfect game, uh, you know, for Augusta. There's no question about it. And he's always a threat to win it. Um, you know, am I a little sour from last week and is that affecting me? I mean, it, I know it mentally, it, it does when you load up on a guy and he does terribly, but I don't know. He just, I don't know if his game is sharp enough. Uh, he could win on any given week. That's that simple. He's that, uh, just naturally talented. I don't know if he's got that, that I, the tiger type mentality as much anymore though. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm a little worried about going to him. I don't think he's a bad play. Uh, I think it makes sense, but uh, probably not going to go there uh, right off the bat. Uh, the next group at 22 to 1, and there's so many of them, it's ridiculous. This is the last group we'll go over because it covers Morikawa, Spieth, Cantlay, and Hovland, and Shoffley, all in there. All could win the tournament, but, you know, what are we looking at here? Spieth? We know that, that, you know, Augusta is Jordan Spieth. Uh, his game fits. He's really does well here. It makes perfect sense that, you know, he could make a lineup at a good price and pay off. I think he's good to make the cut. Uh, reasonable play here. He's not going to be at the top of my list, but I think you can absolutely make a case for him. Patrick Cantlay, you know, same thing. No weaknesses in his game. He can drive it. His wet, his irons are solid. He's uh, terrific around the greens and on the green. So if he gets hot, he could he should be right up there. I think he's a, a good candidate to make the cut as well. Uh, safer play in that sense. His price is right, and uh, he'll definitely make some of my lineups. Victor Hovland is interesting. Still young, obviously has shown he can be phenomenal, um, and he's going to be a great player for a long time. But right now on the greens, man, he is not putting the ball well at all. I mean, even short putts, he's just not being able to knock them down. Spieth had some trouble with short putts as well, but Hovland just in general, no matter what the length of the putt is, uh, just not consistent on the greens. And at if you don't putt well uh, at Augusta, you're in deep trouble because those those uh, greens are like glass and they're going to roll fast. And uh, I just don't know if, if Hovland has the game to get it done uh, quite yet. Maybe a little bit more maturing, certainly a winner down the road. Um, Xander Shoffley, again, you know, he's a threat, it seems like, in every major. 
I mean, he rises to the occasion, the gold medal, medal winner in the Olympics. And then he also, you know, has won uh, majors before or in contention in majors before. So always a threat here. His game isn't razor sharp right now. Um, but, you know, sometimes uh, you're on the right side of that draw. If you can get there, and uh, get some momentum, and all he takes is a little bit of confidence and, and going, and you know he's going to fight uh, and be there. So another guy that I think should be fairly safe uh, cut-wise. All right, so that's uh, a look at that top group based on the Vegas odds. Let, let's look at a little pricing uh, on all three, and I'll give you a few of the picks that I like uh, as well. On, on, uh, let's start with DraftKings. On DraftKings, the, you've got Scheffler is the highest at 11K, John Rahm at 10.8, Johnson at 10.5, and then Thomas at 10.3, Morikawa at 10.2, Hovland 10.1, and McElroy 10. So those are all the guys um, that are above 10, eight guys. I don't know if I'm going to go anywhere there um, for the reasons that I stated a lot when we went over the pricing or the odds, I mean. And I think a medium build is more the more the direction to grow go. Now you can make a case for any of those 10k plus guys or even 11k Scheffler if you like, but I'm going to go with a couple of the next level guys. I, I had mentioned Patrick Cantlay. I think at nine five, um, he just you know the price is too low for a guy that I expect to be in contention all four rounds here. So he is high on my list. I think you get a really great price on DraftKings for Sam Burns. He's only 8'6", and very dangerous here. Um, he's played terrific this year. Um, just, you know, six top tens, um, consistent, has the game that fits Augusta. I think he's dangerous. I can say the same thing about uh, Sunjay M. He's another guy only at 8'4", that has the, the ability to win this thing. Um, he can really get the ball rolling when he's hot and a good ball striker, good consistency. I think a really uh, dangerous guy here. The other guy I'll mention, um, I'll mention two more because they're both priced uh, lower than I think they should be. One is Russell Henley, who's really risen his game to another level. He's played well here in the past. He's only 7,800 and I think really can uh, get after it and and cause some trouble here. Likewise, <clears throat> um, is Matthew Fitzpatrick, another guy, especially with wind, if he gets some of those conditions uh, that he has to deal with. He certainly used to play in, uh, you know, those type of conditions overseas, and he's only 7'7". And along with him is Corey Connors at 7'6", too low. I think he'll be somewhat chalky, certainly a guy where, you know, this course fits his game. And then, you know, if you, if you want some nostalgia, Bubba Watson not playing well right now, but he has been always a, ma a magician uh, at Augusta. So there's a whole bunch of guys want to throw a few extra in and their prices. FanDuel, not too much different here. The pricing, you know, a little, little different, but pretty close to the same type of levels. You have a few off prices. So, a lot of the guys I continue to like here on FanDuel. Can't lay a 10-7. <clears throat> and again, you've got uh, one, two, there are about eight guys, 11K or better. So can't lay still a good deal at 10-7. Tyrrell Hatton is another guy. He's 9-5. Again, with wind and stuff, he's used to playing in that. Um, he, he, he has the game that fits this course. He loses his temper, gets impatient. But if he gets some momentum and stays focused, he is very, very dangerous. Henley and him both at 9K, same thing as I said on, on uh, DraftKings. <clears throat> I just think they're priced too low. And I think they're both uh, guys you can look at here, along with Matt, Matthew Fitzpatrick. Again, 9.6, super fair price at that mid-level. Uh, I think you can get, you certainly can uh, get some attention there. A couple of guys that I think are priced right here as well are Sam Burns at 10-4, Joaquin Neiman at 10K, who in stretches has played phenomenal golf uh, recently and certainly is dangerous here and certainly probably will win this tournament uh, maybe a couple of times in his career. He's very young. 
Um, <clears throat> the one guy that I, I do like the price on, mainly because his consistency. I don't know if he's in form enough to win it, but I mentioned him before too. Xander Shoffley, he's 11K flat, which is lower than Camp Smith and Johnson and Scheffler, Speed, McRoy, those guys. And, you know, he's just such a gamer in the majors. I don't see why <clears throat> there's any reason to uh, not go after him at a really fair price. And you can build with a little bit more uh, salary, uh, you know, on FanDuel, a little bit more leeway. All right, let's look at Yahoo uh, as well. A couple of guys, you know, JT is $43, which is super fair. Uh, I mean, Rahm is 47 Scheffler 45 and Morikawa 44 Hovland's also 43 So I think, you know, Thomas at 43 or Cantley at 42 is a good way to start your build on Yahoo. I think you get some really good deals on Sam Burns at 39. Tyrrell Hatton's only 33 here, which, you know, the guys around him at that pricing, I think he's very good. The only guy I see that is close to where I would rank them at that price is Matthew Fitzpatrick, $32. So that's a steal. He's a lock button for me uh, at $32 on Yahoo. A couple other guys I'll mention if you want to go super on the the cheap here, if you're looking to maybe pay up because you can get two or three studs on Yahoo the way their pricing is set up. A couple of the guys I think, Cameron Champ, he's only $20. He murders the par fives here. Uh, if he uh, gets hot and shoots, goes low, he can be very dangerous. I mentioned Bubba Watson before. The only reason I mention him because it is Augusta. He's only $22. And then uh, $21 Tom Hoagie. He's played really good golf this year and at least feel comfortable with him at a super cheap price of making the cut uh, and getting it done. So there's a look at some odds, a look at some plays for all three. Now I'm going to share a couple of prize picks plays for round one. Round one, um, I'm going to get the updated odds, so we're right on target here. Uh, I'm going to take over Tiger Woods 73 and a half strokes for round one. I'm shocked that Tiger's even playing. I know he's Tiger Woods. I know he's, you know, uh, not human, but unfortunately he is human. And a guy coming back from those kind of injuries haven't, hasn't played competitive golf 73 and a half. I'm taking the over. I mean, I get it. Uh, people are going to root for him. I just think, uh, you know, to, for him to shoot sub 73 uh, after not playing any competitive golf, after almost never being able to walk again, um, I, I just can't see it. So I'm going over there. Um, I'm also going to go, um, I'm going to go under Matthew Fitzpatrick 71. I just, again, I mean, where he is in the draw afternoon um, on Thursday, morning on Friday, 71. I think he shoots, you know, 68, 69. I feel comfortable that he can really get it done here. I'm, uh, I, again, I think he's going to be uh, in contention this week and, uh, you know, really thinks he has a good, I really think he has a good shot. The other guy I'm going to go over, and this is going to surprise some people. They're not going to maybe agree with me, but I'm going over Patrick Reed, 72 and a half. Um, if you followed him lately, I mean, his game is broken. He just is not getting off the tee at all. Um, just a wild game right now. And that is not a place to, to lose, uh, lose your game because you can scramble some. And, yeah, he can roll the ball at times. But if you're putting yourself in terrible positions where, for your second shot and then you're trying to put the ball in the correct spot on the greens, which is a necessity at Augusta, I just think he's going to be a main, maniac scrambler. I don't think he makes the cut here. And I do like uh, over Patrick Reed as well. I do have a couple more plays for our members that I will put out there tonight when I put out my full lineups. If you would like to join us for those, go to dfscoachtalk.com. Just join us for the Masters. You can get a full membership to everything we have for three days just for 10 bucks, And you'll get all of our picks for 
uh, all three sites, DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo, for the Masters for the full tournament. And then Friday night, we do it for the weekend only. So you're going to get two sets of golf lineups. Also, our prize picks plays for PGA. And when you become a member, you get everything we have. So you'll get all our MLB that starts tomorrow and all of our crazy NBA picks this week, the last week of the NBA season. So we would love to have you. I hope this gave you a quick synopsis of uh, some pricing and some odds and gives you a good chance to absolutely get after it. It's going to be a fantastic tournament, as it always is to watch. I am really looking forward to it. And uh, let us know what you think of, of the podcast, how your picks are going. You can always shoot us a message here uh, on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. And we'd ask you give us a quick thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That is extremely, extremely important to us. We give you these podcasts in, for PGA in front of the paywall every week. And we just ask you give us a thumbs up, subscribe button, and hit that little alarm in the upper corner. Let's know when any of our podcasts post. Um, and also, if you want to check us out on Twitter, we're at DFS Coach Talk, or I am directly at Joe Sarvati, J O E S A R V A D I. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the golf, and uh, definitely hope that you crush it in the Masters PGA with DFS Coach Talk.